welcome back to my channel. It is Angela here. I'm sorry I've been gone for a while. Um, but I am back today and I am excited to share something with you guys. So um, if you are new here, again, don't forget to subscribe. I have to say my usual spiel. And uh, click like if you like this video. And you might be thinking, why is she not wearing any lipstick? So let me get right into it. Today I will be doing my review on this Grande Pout lip plumping lip mask right here so I bought this a little while ago and I've been using it so it claims to give you 72 hours of lock-in hydration in two weeks you would notice of like a fuller pout so thankfully I've always liked my lips <laughs> and but you know who doesn't like a little nice oomph little kick for your lips so when I saw this, I was really just looking for a new lip mask. I have been using the Laneige lip mask. I do have a video on this. I bought this a while back and I've been using this. Um, and so I want to try something new. And so I bought this. I have been using this for some time. I'll show you how much I've used. Oops. And um, you guys could see. So I have used about this much and um, it's a decent amount. I was using it every night. I did not use it in the day. Sometimes I did, but I definitely use it at night. And so um, when you open it, it smells really, really nice. It smells kind of like strawberries to me, like, like candy, strawberry. Um, but it's not overpowering because I personally hate when, um, you know, products are like super extra, you know, potent smell and that gives me a headache <laughs> so I was happy that this didn't stink and like give me a headache it's a very very light smell and it smells like sh I would say like strawberry ice cream <laughs> that's the only way I could describe it not ice cream but like strawberry and then it comes with this little applicator thing that you can actually not an applicator you can use this to take some out so you just use it like this you scrape some out, you get some on here. And then what I usually do is I'll take my um, finger and then I'll use it. So I'm gonna come closer and head on my lip. It feels super moisturizing. It feels like strawberries. I feel like there's a little bit of a texture in this of some sort, it must be one of the ingredients. And I really like how smooth my lips feel. It feels really smooth. Like I said, there's a little texture in it, which kind of throws me off. That's why I don't wear this like underneath stuff because I feel like it will get gloppy. So I definitely just wear this at night. And then when I wake up, I have noticed that my lips were super moisturized and hydrated i do have um issues with you know dry lips so i definitely think that this is great as a lip mask it did a great job like i said i've used it for about a month or so and i definitely noticed when i woke up in the morning that my lips were more hydrated and soft and just like really nice and supple lips if that is your goal i definitely think it definitely does that as far as the plumping goes i think it gives me like a little bit of like an instant i don't know if you guys can notice it but it gives me like a little bit of an instant power situation i don't know i feel it and this actually does not feel tingly or like burning sensation or any of that. It just feels a little bit cool. Very, very, very lightly cool. It's super light and just gives me like a little bit of a pout. That's just what I feel. I don't think that it is like something super drastic. Like you're like, oh my God, my lips are so plump. I don't need anything else. No. Um, but I do think it gives it like a little bit of a boost even over time I didn't notice like some sort of amazing like oh my god my lips look so much fuller This says that the 
Dura Quench helps to lock in the moisture. The highlighted ingredients. It has volulip, which soothes irritated skin while enhancing collagen. It gives you the plumping effect. And then it says it has hyaluronic acid, which moisturizes and improves firmness and helps stimulate the plumping. It doesn't have any parabens and it also is cruelty free. What I like about this is the ingredient. I really like that it has hyaluronic acid in it. Uh, we know that it helps with moisture, so that definitely does a trick. I definitely think it does that. Uh, you know, I've had this on my lips right when I put it on for you guys. Um, as you can see, it's nothing like, oh my god, I do think it gives me like a little bit, I don't even know what it's like, my upper, my upper lip looks a little bit more like, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I've actually never used lipstick on top of it, but you know what, we're gonna try today. I bought this lipstick and I'm like, let's try this. I'm just gonna line my lips. I don't know if you can notice, but it has a little like texture to it. That's why I don't like to wear it underneath lipstick. But I'm doing it just for show purposes. I'm gonna line my lips just roughly. And then let's put this lipstick on. I got my lipstick out. I've used this color before. I had a little mini one. And I love this color. I'm just gonna put some on. I've never worn this underneath anything. Oh, it's kind of tricky. There's a sliding everywhere. Okay. So, I would not recommend putting this on before lipstick. I would definitely recommend using it at night because this is like my lipstick. I can't get the great payoff because it's like kind of sliding all over my lips. Again, sorry if this looks a little sloppy. The lipstick literally sliding off. So, I don't recommend using it underneath stuff, but I definitely recommend using it at night right before, you know, you go to bed and it definitely gives me hydrating lips. That is my verdict on it. Does it plump my lips? I don't think it does anything drastic. It might give it like a little bit of maybe like 3%. <laughs> I don't know if I had to pick a number. I would say 3% of something, but nothing, you know, like, oh my gosh. So here are my lips with it on. And I feel like definitely don't recommend wearing this underneath sub because my lipstick is literally sliding everywhere. And that is not what we want. Overall, I really like this product. Um, I definitely didn't buy it for the pout effect. I bought it because it has hyaluronic acid and I thought that would be a great ingredient to put on my lips. Um, since we are getting older and then you start to get those lines and your lips can shrink and get like thin and all this stuff So this is it. So I, I don't have any like lip filler or anything like that. These are my natural lips I uh, Nothing against that if you do, but I'm just saying um, You know, so this is what this looks like you saw my lips earlier without it and yeah, so overall I definitely for the hydration and moisturize effect, I definitely give it a 10 out of 10. But for as far as if you're looking for some sort of magic lip plumpy thing, um, I don't think this will be your answer. So do I think that this is worth $24? I, per I bought this um, when the Sephora sale happened, so I would rather not pay full price. So I would get it during a sale. If you're looking for a lip mask that's gonna be very hydrating and nice on your lips so when you wake up it feels really nice. I definitely love this. I love the smell, it's very light. Um, it's called Berry Mojito and then it even gives you an expiration date which I like in the back, really nice. It says 0123. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to like, subscribe and come back next time for more. Bye.